Hi everyone, this is Helen Jedor Design. Today we are making a cute baby ramper with sleeve. The one that we are making today is going to have a round collar. It's not going to have a slip collar at the middle. And this baby ramper has a diaper inside. You can see how it is inside and it also has a, a skirt. So this is a my new version of baby ramper that I'm making right now. And this is how the back of the ramper will look once you have done making yours. I have made two different kinds of the ramper right here. This one, there is no collar. It's just a round neck with puff sleeve. And it also has a diaper cover inside and this is the skirt you can make yours with color you can make yours without no color both ways are really good this is how the back of the ramper will look please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube subscription is free like is free comment is free to share the video is also free you can also support us by giving us super thanks on youtube you can also support us by giving us stars on facebook book that motivates us so that we can give you a wonderful tutorial to watch please always watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out i noticed that a lot of you don't watch the video until the end that comment that you're about to write that question that you're about to write on the comment section maybe i've already explained it on the video that that is why it is very important to watch the video and let's get started i have cut out my fabric if you watch my video i have shown you guys how to cut out your fabric and i've also give out free pattern paper on my youtube so i believe a lot of you already know how to cut out your fabric for the color this is going to be a round color when you are placing your pattern paper on your fabric you place the front on fold and then you cut it out remember to always add your seam allowance and also cut out your lining so both the lining and the may fabric and this is my sleeve right here and this is my front top dress with lining and this is my back top dress with lining and this is my diaper cover both the front and the back i have also cut that out and this is my skirt that i have cut out i am going to tell you the measurement of my skirt when you are taking the measurement of your skirt make sure that your fabric is always on fold so i will place my measuring tape on the fold hem side and i'm going to measure all the way down the width of my fabric is 59 centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 23.25 inch and i'm going to tell you the length of my skirt you place your measuring tape at the top like this you are going to take a measurement of 30 and a half centimeter or 12 inch so this is how i cut out my fabric let's put the baby ramper together the first thing that you're going to do you open your may fabric you're going to put the both shoulder seam of your may fabric together you take it to your sewing machine you stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch once you have done that you also repeat the same thing with the lining put the both shoulder seam together you are going to stitch the shoulder seam with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch once you have done stitching your top dress together the next thing that you have to do you take your sleeve you take it to your sewing machine you stitch the side seam together with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch it depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric you also take the second sleeve you stitch it with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch once you have done stitching remember to overlock it with your overlock a sewing machine or you can use zigzag to overlock it once you have done that you take your collar you just open it like this and then you take your lining place it on top of it you are going to put them together like this once you have done putting them together you take it to your sewing machine you stitch the center back all the way around and then you also come back and stitch the other side of the center back once you have done that remember to snip around the curved edge turn it inside out take it to your ironing board and give it a good 
press. The next thing that you have to do, you open your diaper cover like this. And then this is the back of my diaper cover. The back is always bigger than the front. You put the both sides in together. You stitch it with your seam allowance. You come down to this other side, push the sides in together. You stitch it with your seam allowance. Once you have done that, overlock the both raw edges. Once you have done stitching that, you take your skirts. What you are going to do, this will be the center back. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter. Give it a top stitch all the way down. And then this is will be the hem. So you are going to hem the skirt. You fold inside again one centimeter. You fold it again one centimeter. You give it a top stitch all the way around. Once you have done that, at the top edge, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch. You're going to stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt. I have stitched my collar together. I turn it inside out, give it a good press. This is how it is. And I've also stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress and the lining together. And I've stitched the side seam of my diaper together. This is my sleeve. I've stitched the side seam together and this is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you take your sleeve, you take it to your ironing board, you fold inside one centimeter and then you fold it again one centimeter. You are going to go ahead and hem your sleeve all around and then you also repeat the same process with the second sleeve. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and hem your sleeve all all around once you have done that set your sewing machine to the longest stitch you're going to stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your sleeve repeat the same process with the second sleeve this is our diaper cover so this is the center back of my diaper cover you fold it into two like this the next thing that you have to do you take your measuring tape or your ruler place it at the waistline of the diaper cover you are going to take a measure of eight centimeter or 3.25 inch is right here once you take that measurement what you are going to do i will just turn my fabric and you take your scissors you cut it to that eight centimeter or 3.25 inch i have cut it down to that eight centimeter or 3.25 inch the next thing that you have to do you cut a long fabric longer than the measurement that you take and i'm going to tell you the width of my fabric the width of my fabric is three centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 1.25 inch so what we are going to do, we are going to place it on our fabric. So you open your diaper cover like this. You are going to place it at the front of your fabric. You pin it all around to this other end. Once you pin it together, you take it to your sewing machine. You go ahead and top stitch. Once you have stitched that together, this is my top dress and i've also iron interfacing at the center back of the top dress so what we are going to do we are going to place our collar at the neckline make sure that the center front is facing the center front of your top dress you go ahead and pin it all around once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine and top stitch the collar first once you have done that then pick your lining place it on top of it make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you are going to stitch around the center back and around the neck line once you have done stitching trim a little bit out from the seam allowance turn it inside out and give it a good press
I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is. I trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. The next thing that you have to do, you fold one centimeter inside and then you use that one centimeter to cover the raw edges of your center back diaper cover so this will be the blanket for the center back you just go ahead and pin it all the way down once you have done pinning the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have stitched that together you can decide the side you want to fold inside you can either fold this side inside and top stitch or you can either fold this other side inside and top stitch when you are folding it inside make sure that you are only folding one part of the placket inside not the both part you fold one side inside you stitch it across once you have done that set your sewing machine to the longest stitch you stitch a gather stitch thread at the waistline of your diaper cover once you have done with that the next thing that you have to do you cut a bias binding the width of my bias binding is three centimeter i will place my bias binding at the front of the fabric this is the back i will pin it all around once i am done pinning i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch it all around once i am done with that i will fold it inside and then fold it again and top stitch i believe a lot of you know how to use bias binding to bind the leg hole of your diaper cover once you have done with that this is our top dress what we are going to do we are going to put the both sides seam to Together. you pick your top dress made fabric facing each other you stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch and you pick your lining you also do the same thing put the both sides seam together stitch it with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch you come down to the other side you're going to repeat the same process 1.3 centimeter or half an inch and the other both lining facing each other 1.3 centimeter centimeter or half an inch I have stitched the side seam of my top dress together. I put the lining and the main fabric together. I just top stitch around the armhole. What you are going to do, and you pick your sleeve. This is the front of my sleeve. You put it inside. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other and side seam to side seam. Take your pin, you secure that together. You come down to the sleeve head. Make sure that the both seam are matched and then you take your pin, you secure that together together all you have to do pin the sleeve to a setting point before you start to gather your sleeve so this is what i'm going to do i will pin it to this point and i will just pull my sleeve a little bit is not so much gather just a little bit once you have done that all you have to do is just to use your pin to secure the sleeve all around the armhole and then you also do the same thing on this other side i have pinned my sleeve together this is how it is the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it on my sewing machine i will stitch the sleeve around the armhole and i will also repeat the same process on this other side once you have done that the next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our elastic around the leg hole of our diaper cover. So I will place my measure tape like this. The measurement that I have right here is 27 and half centimeter. If you are using inches, measure 10.75 inch. So place your safety pin. All you have to do, you have to pass it through this hole right here i have stitched my sleeve around the armhole of my dress i have insert my elastic around the leg hole i just take it to my sewing machine and stitch the elastic together so that i secure the elastic this is how it is right now and i've also stitched a gather stitch thread at the waistline of the diaper cover the first thing that we are going to do we are going to gather the skirt first before we gather the diaper cover before you gather the skirt this is the back of my top dress i am going to take a measurement of two centimeter why i am taking that measurement that is my snap closure seam allowance 
So what you are going to do, you pick your measuring tape like this, you measure inside, two centimeter is right here, and then you come down to this other side, make sure to also measure inside, two centimeter is right here. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to gather your skirt. So when you are gathering your skirt, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. So I will pick my top dress. When you are pinning your skirt on your top dress, make sure to set the lining so this is my two centimeter I will pin it like this and then I will come down to the other side I will repeat the same thing this is my two centimeter right here and I will pin my skirt like this so what I'm going to do I am going to gather my skirt around the waistline of my baby ramper I have gathered the skirt around the waistline of my top dress and I have pinned it all around before I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch I am going to also gather my baby diaper cover on the waistline of the top dress the way to do that what you are going to do this is the front of my baby diaper cover and this is the back of my baby diaper cover so I will pick the blacked side I'm going to start pinning it at the center back so you just open it like this you place it at the center back of the top dress and you secure that with a pin once you pin that in place that is the blacked side so what you are going to do you come down to the side seam make sure that both side seam are facing each other you are going to secure that in place and then you come to this other side both side seam also facing each other you secure the side seam in place this is the center back of my top dress and you pick the other side of the diaper cover this is the blacked side you make sure that you put them together like this and you secure that with a pin once you have secured it together all you have to do is to gather your diaper cover around the waistline of your top dress once you have done gathering it all around take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance 1.3 centimeter or half an inch I have stitched my skirt and my diaper cover together this is how it is once you have done that and I've also used my lining to cover the raw edges you just pinning all around the waistline as you are seeing right here once you have done pinning place your dress on your sewing machine that means you're placing the front of the dress on your on your sewing machine you stitch it all around the waist line once you have done stitching the next thing that we have to do we are going to cut a piece of fabric this will be the blanket to cover the raw edges of the crouch area so what you are going to do you take your measuring tape or your ruler you, you measure the length of your crouch so mine i have measured that and the width of my crouch is four centimeter so and then i fold it into two like this when you're taking the measurement make sure that you fold your fabric into two four centimeter so i fold it all around one one centimeter and you can also see that i iron interfacing on one side of the blanket what you are going to do you place it on your crotch area like this and you just go ahead and pin it all the way down i have pinned it together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitching trim a little bit out from the seam allowance and then this other side you fold it inside and then you use it to cover the raw edges of the blanket so this is how it is i have already stitched this side you just fold all the one centimeter all around inside and then you use it to cover the raw edges take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all over again once you have done that your dress is finally ready all you have to do is just to fix your snap closure or your button home
this is the final look of my dress if you have a leftover fabric you can always make a bow on your dressmaking 